Welcome back folks, it's Andy Krieger, your garden helper, and today we're here, we're going to talk about cabbage, one of the coal crops, okay? We talked earlier a little bit about kohlrabi, and now we're going to talk about cabbage. A lot of people ask me, why do I still plant cabbage? The reason I do is because I love it. It's one of the first things to go in the garden, around here in the Midwest, it goes in mid-April, end of April. One of the first things also to come out of the garden, along with your kohlrabi, broccoli, brussels sprouts. Cabbage comes out nice and early here, second week of July, okay? Beautiful, uh, it's grown nice, don't have, any, uh, don't have any major blemishes, but once again, wanna go ahead and process that. My trusty, there it is, my trusty Ginsu knife, just like we did earlier, I go ahead, trim off, A little bit of a wrestling match, but not too bad. Now what do I do with all those leaves and the stems? I'm going to go ahead and compost them. But what I get at the end is a beautiful, gorgeous head of cabbage. What can I do with this now? I like to make sauerkraut. A lot of people, you know, they get sauerkraut has a bad, uh, puts a bad taste in their mouth, but for me, Homemade sauerkraut, there's probably nothing better from a canning standpoint because homemade sauerkraut is very subtle. It goes with any type of a dish. Our ancestors ate it just as a vegetable. And uh, we kind of, in our modern generation, we think of it as primarily with hot dogs or, uh, or uh, a German dish. But sauerkraut can be eaten just as any vegetable. And when you can it yourself, it comes out wonderful. There's a lot of very good recipes out there on the internet. The other one is just fresh, slice it up into salads, okay? Uh, or, of course, the standard summertime cuisine, which is coleslaw. But cabbage, this is Stonehead, it's a very good variety. There's a lot of different varieties out there you can use. But my point is, is once again, one of those early things that you plant, one of the early things that comes out of the garden, and it gives you a lot of that quick enjoyment before a lot of your other vegetables have come on. So go ahead and give cabbage a try once again. Your grandmother knew about the benefits, and it's time that you learn a little bit about them too. Until next time, Andy Krieger, your garden helper, go out and play in some dirt.